version. It's going to be real short. It says, one day, Peter and John went up to the temple at a time of prayer. How many of you know that prayer is essential, is our communication, is our relationship to God? Hallelujah. He gave us two weapons of prayer and of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says, at three in the afternoon, now a man who was named from birth was carried, was being carried to the temple gates called Beautiful. This man was named. He had a problem. This man, he couldn't walk. What is our problem? Come on. Mm. Do we need a mindset change? Do we need a healing of mind, body, and soul? Do we need a way out of no way? Do we need God to provide for us? Do we need our mindsets to change that we don't think the same way how we used to think, but in a new perspective of how God ought us to think. And it goes on, and it says, he, he, was, he was put there every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. He begged. He pleaded. He asked. How many of us are searching for answers when we don't know which way to turn? Some of us call our friends. Come on. Some of us call our family members. To be truthful, some people call the psychic line. Come on. Searching for answers, but instead of turning to God and seeking what He desire, what he wants for our life, we turn and seek and beg from others. And it continues and said, when he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him as did John. Then Peter said, look at us. He said, look at us. And the, and the man, he looked at them. He gave them his attention, expecting something from them. Yes. He acts, and he was expecting. But he was expecting money. Come on, such as that. But he had a different problem. He needed to walk. He was lame. He had an issue. But he was looking for money. Jesus. So, how many of us need God to fix something? I'm going to talk about myself. Because <laughs> I had an issue with my phone. It was not working. I had no money. And I was looking for money. But I went to the phone place. And I went to ask how much would it be to fix my phone. And the guy looked at it. And he was like, let me see. He went and he said, come back in an hour. And I went back an hour. And I'm like, how much? Come on now. Come on. And the phone still wasn't fixed. And he said, it was something with software at this time. And he said, let me work on it. And I'm going to give you a loaner phone. And I'm still like, how much <laughs> is it going to cost me? Because I, I don't have money right now. I, I didn't even get my paycheck yet. How much? 
But when I went back yesterday and I'm like, all right, what's the status? And he was like, your phone is fixed. And I'm like, okay, thank you. But how much is it gonna cost me? Come on now, come on. He just gave me the phone. He didn't give me an amount. He, I'm, I'm still like, do I owe you? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. But God made a way. Thank you, Lord. He made a way out of no way. Yes. Yes. And what we think, even in the promises that God gave us, we have limitations. Mm. Is what we think. God said He promised us a husband, or He promised us a car, or He promised us a house, or He promised us ministry. And we have this expectation of what we think, what it is, but God's thoughts are not our thoughts. Say His it. ways are not our ways. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. He does exceedingly and abundantly what we can think or what we can ask. Hallelujah. So Peter said to him, silver or gold, I don't have. But what I have, I'll give you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He said, walk. And he took him by the right hand and he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and his ankle became strong. He jumped at his feet and he began to walk. Can we be obedient to God when he says to do something? Can we do it? And I speak to myself because I have situations and opportunities and all these things faced in my life and I still question God. Can I just be obedient? He said, trust him. He said, keep the faith. He said, believe my promises. Speak my promises. Can we just be obedient? Can we be obedient? We will fulfill and we will see God's promises in our life. Yes. Yes. And when he walked, he jumped and he started to praise God. Hmm. Praise. Prayer. Praise and prayer are essential. We shouldn't just praise God when he does something for us. But we praise him in spite of what it looks like. We give a hallelujah, anyhow praise. We praise him before we see the promise. We praise him through the process of the promise. And we praise him when we see the fulfillment of the promise. Praise is what I do. In spite of the situation, God, my heart is to worship you in spirit and in truth. No matter what I'm going through, I just want to praise you, God. For you are awesome, and I don't want to look at man or look at people, but God, my heart wants to be true and pure to you, God. God, I just worship you. If you just worship with me today, think about what God is doing in your life. And just trust them and praise them in spite of you don't know my story or the things that I've been through. You don't know my pain or the things I've been through to get here. You Don't try to figure it out Because my worship My worship is for real Hallelujah, Jesus Yes, my worship My worship is for real We could just testify a little bit For the things that I've been through, make it personal. You 